Hi mga higala, this is Maestra Judy. Welcome to Cebuano 101. This is the part 9 of our people and relationship family vocabulary. I'm here to help you build your vocabulary five words at a time. Mga higala, these words that I shared in this series are on my book, Speak Conversational Bisaya Cebuano. You can find this at Amazon Marketplaces and also on my shop and my other online platforms, Lazada and Shopee. Let's start. The first one is son-in-law. Umagad. 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 Son-in-law. Umagad. Next one. Daughter-in-law. Binalayi. 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 Daughter-in-law. Next, kinogos, godchild. Kinogos, kinogos. Next one, godfather, ninong, ninong. Or, maninoy, maninoy. Godfather, ninong, or maninoy. Godmother, ninang, ninang. Or, maninay. Maninay. Okay, those are the five words for this video. Let's have a review, mga higala. What is son-in-law in Visaya Cebuano? Okay, son-in-law is umagad. Umagad. Next one, daughter-in-law. What is daughter-in-law in Cebuano? Okay, binalayi. Okay, binalayi. Next one, what is godchild in Cebuano? Godchild is kinogos. Kinogos. Next one, godfather. There are two terms for this one. Godfather. Godfather is Ninong or maninoy? Ninong or maninoy? Okay, next one. What is godmother in Cebuano or in Bisaya? Okay, two terms as well. Ninang or maninay? Ninang or maninay? Okay, now let's have a test, mga higala. Let's start with what is daughter-in-law in Cebuano? Our choices are number one, ninang, number two, binalayi, number three, umagad, number four, kinogos. What is daughter in law in Cebuano? Okay, the correct answer is binalayi, number two. So, daughter in law is binalayi. Okay, next one. What is son-in-law in Cebuano? Unsa ang son-in-law sa Cebuano? Our choices are, number one, ninang, ninang. Number two, kinogos, kinogos. Number three, ninong, ninong. Number four, umagad, umagad. So what is son-in-law in Cebuano? Unsa ang son-in-law in Cebuano? Number four, that is umagad. Umagad. Okay, next one. What is godmother in Cebuano? Unsa ang godmother sa Cebuano? So our choices are, number one, ninong. Ninong. Number two, ninang. Ninang. Number three, umagad. Umagad. Number four, kinogos. Kinogos. Okay, the correct answer is number two, ninang. Godmother is ninang or maninay. Okay, remember that the second term, maninay. Okay, what is godchild in Cebuano? Unsa ang godchild sa Cebuano? Our choices are the following. Number one, Ninong. 
Number two, umagad. Number three, kinogos. Number four, ninang. Unsa ang godchild sa Cebuano? Okay? Correct answer is number three, kinogos. Okay? Godchild is kinogos. Okay, last one, mga higala. Unsa ang godfather sa Cebuano? Okay, what is godfather in Cebuano? Our choices are the following. Number one is kinogos. Number two, ninong. Number three, umagad. Number four, ninang. Okay, unsa ang godfather sa Cebuano? Okay, the correct answer is ninong. Ninong. What's the second term? Okay, maninoy. Maninoy. Ninong or maninoy? Okay, let's have a recap, mga higala. Okay? Son-in-law is umagad. Daughter-in-law is binalayi. Godchild, kinogos. Godfather, ninong or maninoy. Last one. Godmother is ninang and ninang or maninay. Okay, mga higala, that's the end of our part 9. Please visit again next uh, week to watch the part 10, the last part. If you cannot wait for that, the full part 1 to part 10 series is already available on my site, Family Vocabulary page. So head over to my site if you want to access all the lesson materials available for you. I hope to see you on the other side, mga higala. Daghang salamat. Amping kanunay. See you next time. Bye.